गाइस वेलकम टू दी फ्लटर वीकली विजिट सीजन टू एपिसोड वन पावर्ड बाय एम टेक वायरल ट्रिपन बाय कोटपुर दैट साउंड्स गुड राइट ओके सो वी आर बैक विद अनदर सीजन ऑफ फ्लटर वीकली विजिट्स बिकॉज एट वन टाइम आई वॉज डूइंग दिस फ्लटर वीकली विजिट्स एंड नो बडी वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट विजिट्स बिकॉज देर लॉट ऑफ विजिट्स बट नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव द फ्लटर विजिट ऑफ द वीक बाय द ऑफिशियल फ्लटर टीम so uh, i didn't want it to do it anymore but the thing is that there's still a lot to do okay i should decline it okay so i the thing is that there is lot to do and uh, the problem is that uh, that video is just of 1 minute so sometimes you want uh, you want more uh, information about those widget that how to use them so that's why uh, i'm back with another season so today we are going to talk about Uh, reordable list views which is again a widget in flutter so suppose you are making something like uh maybe a music player or any video streaming app or anything like that where you have uh you want your user to give an option of uh, reordering uh, ordering the list so that's where this uh, reordable list view can come in handy so as you can see we have a stateful widget the name is season 2 episode 1 in short s02 uh, e01 and uh, as you can see we have nothing on the screen except us uh, an app bar and then we will give some body to it and this code is available on uh, github so make sure you check out that in, uh, and the link is in the description and uh, make sure you join us in uh, maybe facebook group or slack group whatever every link is available in the description are also happy new year to all of you because i guess i haven't wished any of you okay so let's move to the body part and here we will use this reordable list view okay before that we want some list which we can show so i'm just going to copy and paste a list this is my list which contains us uh, elements i mean the string elements and uh, it's like we have 11 items here and i have appended the index as well the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that you can also have the idea of which item is at what index because that's what we need with reordable list view now let's see what it takes as its properties so it takes some children obviously and then it has this uh, callback which is on reorder that what will happen when you will reorder it then it also gives you an optional header widget which you can maybe use to show before the list then you can give some padding and you can give some scroll direction like horizontal or vertical so we are going to give it so first of all the header so let it's it's optional but you can give it so let's say header so it's totally your choice if you want to give some icon then you can give it okay it takes a widget not a text so it's totally your choice then we will pass our children so list of children we will pass my list here and then we will use the map and then we can use something like a list tile okay because it's a list after all and in the list tile we can uh, use in the title another text and the c and then we can make it to list but it's saying that it needs one more property which is on reorder that what will happen on reordering so we are going to just call this method on reorder which we will make right now so we will make on reorder okay now we will see what kind of parameters it will give us in the callback so it will give two integers to us as you can see the first integer is for old index and the new one for new index another one i mean so um now after i'll just refresh it will again show us this red screen because there is still something missing and what's that it is something which is which you might not have seen in the normal list views because uh, we always if you don't know that um with every widget there is a key property which we need to provide and if we don't provide it then the framework itself is gonna allocate a key to that particular widget but in this case because we are using reordable list view and for the uh for the sake of performance and for everything so that uh, you know in the background um for the framework or the for the elementary it it might it it should be very easy for it to do all the changes and show that it not 
affect the performance anyhow so it it asks us to give it a particular key so in the list style let's say we can give it a key because you know we are generating we are rendering this list style for every list item so here we can give it a key it can be a unique key or you can give it a object key let's say object key and you can pass the c here it's totally your choice okay and you can see now we have this list okay but and let's say if i want to reorder it a0 to let's say after f5 okay f5 and now if i will place it it will go back to its original position because we are not doing anything in this on reorder so what we need to do so here first of all we will call the set state why because we want to rebuild it whenever we reorder our list okay and we will do a normal check here new index should be greater than old index or oh, no if if it is greater than old index then uh, we have to change the index position of new index and what we will do new index minus one why we are doing this because uh, when uh, let's say if you will move this list to the uh, greater uh, index then obviously the list item will behave differently I'll show you by an example but this is what we have to do then we will take our list and we will check which item we have to remove and we will remove it so we can say my list dot remove at old index so whatever item is at old index we will remove it and we will add it again to my list insert with the new index and with the item so that's very simple and now if you will perform here let's move this a0 to f6 okay f6 it's fine it's it's moved okay and let's say and now i'll, I'll show you something let's make let's uh, uh put a breakpoint here and then let's move this a0 from here to the bottom and now if i'll just drop it then let's see what's the old index old index is 5 because it was after f5 so it took the 5 position and the new index is 11 okay so as you can see our index starts from 0 to 10 but it's now 11 okay so for that situation and 11th item is not in our list so for that situation we are doing this index new index minus one okay because otherwise what will happen now if i'll just play it then a0 move to the last item but let's say if we remove it then it will lost somewhere let me just show you so now let's say if i am dragging this p1 to the last position then you will see that old index is 0 new index is again 11 and because we are not doing this minus 1 now you will see this b1 is lost somewhere so that's the problem because we are trying to inserting an element at a position which is even after this one because you have removed all uh, one index already so let's say if you are removing this 10th index okay then you cannot insert it on to 11th index because there is one item which is uh, there is one position which is still blank so that's that's why we are doing this and now if i'll do this if i'll just restart it then it's fine and now we can move something like this anywhere and it will work and that's it so this is about reordable list view if you are making a music player or anything like that it can be useful for you so this is about this video the re reordable list view i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then press the like button also subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber also press the bell icon and share the video with your friends who because there are a lot of people now learning flutter these days and it's it's awesome to see the community is going everything is like uh, very smooth and um, every developer is loving flutter so if you do love flutter then subscribe to this channel because i am your flutter fan and uh, i will help you bye bye take care